Hey guys, what's up? It's Weston with Facebook for Roofers. And today we're going to be going over how to create your very first Facebook ads campaign um, and going over how to exactly set it up for your roofing business. So today we're just going to be working out of the Facebook ads manager um, inside Facebook business manager. If you don't know how to get here or you don't have an account already on, on Facebook business, go ahead and go to business.facebook.com, select create a new account, and then just follow the steps. So today we're just going to be using an example account. Um, like we explained, a Facebook campaign has three different parts. So it has the campaign, which is basically your overall objective, ad sets, which is your targeting, and then ads, which is the actual ad that is going to be shown to your audience. So to go ahead and get started, we're going to click right here at the green button on the left and click create. Now, like we said, we're going to be starting out here at the campaign level. In the campaign level, Facebook has 11 different options to choose from. So depending on whatever your objective for your campaign is, do you want to get more people to your website? Do you want to drive more engagement on a specific post? Um, do you want to get more video views, lead generation, and messages? Um, really, whatever, you, whatever your objective is as far as for your roofing contracting business, Facebook will have one here for you that relates. So um, today we're just going to be going to create a really basic Facebook traffic campaign. So go ahead and click, click traffic. We can go ahead and leave the campaign name traffic, whatever you want to name it, um, doesn't matter. And then if you go ahead and go down here, you can select your budget for the campaign. We suggest selecting a daily budget, that way you have a greater control over your Facebook ads. We're going to go ahead and lower that to 10. And then here, if you haven't ever created a Facebook ad before, you'll have to go ahead and click Set Up Ad Account. It'll just take you right over here, input your account details, and then click Continue. Now that we created our campaign and selected our objective, we're moving on to the ad set level. Now, like we said, the ad set level is where all of the targeting happens. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down to Audience. And with audience here, we can select to target according to different locations. We can target according to age, gender, and then also detail targeting, where we can target things like demographics, interests, and behaviors. So let's go ahead and start with location. For example, let's say that we are a roofing contractor in Mesa, Arizona. Maybe we wanted to target all of Mesa and maybe even Phoenix as well. So let's go ahead and say, let's just put in that location, Phoenix, Arizona. And what you can do too is if you're if you're wanting to go a little bit smaller on the area, you can click here and then select the slider going down to 10 mile radius or even up to a 50 mile radius. We're going to go ahead and leave it right here at 25. Another cool thing you can do is if you're wanting to focus on specific zip codes, you can actually go ahead and type in zip codes right here and it'll bring up that exact zip code to target into. Now that we've selected our area, we're going to go ahead and select our age. This allows us to show our ad to people within a specific age range. So let's go ahead and select everyone between the ages of 25 and 65 and older. Next, we, we can select between different genders. For this example, we're just going to go ahead and target all of them. Facebook allows you to target according to interests, behaviors, demographics, and things like that. So if we click here on Edit, we can scroll down and see a lot of different demographics, interests, and behaviors. You can click here and you can target according to education, um, financial, life events, um, are they parents, what's their relationship, are they married, single, um, divorced, interests, you can target according to different business industries, um, you know, are they interested in roofing, are they interested in uh, home improvement, um, depending on what somebody would be interested in who, are, who is looking to buy um, a new roof. Also, you can click on behaviors, and it gives you a whole list of other things here. For this example, we're going to go ahead and click, and we're going to input home improvement. Make sure whenever you type something in or when you're selecting, you select what it is. So depending on if it's an interest, a behavior, or an employer, um, make sure for this example, I wouldn't want to target people who are employed 
by home improvement places, but instead that are interested in home improvement. So I'll go ahead and click that. And once you input one thing, you can go ahead and click suggestions. And Facebook will give you a whole list of different interests that might be relevant to what you're trying to target. So say I wanted to target home improvement, but then I also wanted to target renovation or even home repair. Awesome. Now, like we said, these are just some examples. This isn't exactly what we're recommending that you target, but these are just some examples to show you how this detailed targeting works. Once we're here, we'll just go ahead and scroll down. We'll leave placements on automatic placements. We'll leave the optimization settings at link clicks and then click continue. Okay, now that we've clicked continue, we're over here at the ad level. So just as a recap, we selected our objective. We selected here at the ad set our targeting options. And now we're down here um, in the ads section. This is where we create the actual ad for our audience to see. So if we go ahead and scroll down, we can select between a few things. We can select a carousel, which are basically different cards that we can show to our audience. We can select a single image or a video or a whole collection. So depending on whatever you wanted to show your target audience, go ahead and click that. For this, we're gonna click single image or video. Scroll down. Here in the media section is where you'll select your media. You can add a video or an image. We're gonna add an image. So scrolling down, now that we have our picture selected or our video, whatever you wanted to put in there, we're going to write our primary text. And this is the text that's gonna be showing up right above your ad that people are going to read. So we're gonna go ahead and want to keep it relatively short and sweet. For this, maybe we just put something like, Okay. Then we can input our headline. The headline will display right here at the bottom link. So we can put something here. Okay. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and scroll down to description. The description will display right here below your heading. And then we need to put in whatever our website URL is for our company. So whatever your website URL that you decide to put in here is the URL that they're going to go to when they click the button at the bottom of the ad. You can go ahead and right here and preview your URL to make sure it's working properly and that it's entered correctly. Then you can also select your call to action. For this example, select something like contact us. So there you go guys. By doing all those things, you just created your first Facebook ad. The only thing you have left to do is go ahead and scroll down and click confirm. And from there, it'll publish your ad, it'll get reviewed, and within a few hours, your ad should be up and running. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to message us on Facebook or get in contact with us through our website. We'd be more than happy to help you and answer any questions you have. So that's it guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.